from Neptune's Dive Center. Today we are finally doing the shipwrecks. Yesterday, as you saw, we, uh, Mike and I, we did my skills again. I got refreshed here with June, and uh, today we're about to go do three shipwrecks all day long, and uh, it's gonna be a good time of scuba diving. I've never gone inside of a shipwreck, so this is gonna be my first time. Am I gonna survive, June? I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this boat's much bigger today. So it looks like we've been upgraded today to the bigger boat because there's more of us. And uh, let me say, this thing is nice and spacious. Check it out. We've got the whole inside of this, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And then the whole deck. Today the ride out is about an hour to get to these uh, three groups of ships. They're all kind of close together. So we do these three groups and then the next day it's even farther out for these two ships that are kind of grouped together. <laughs> the first dive is uh, Olympia, Olympia Marus, same sunk 1944, Second World War, September 24. The Olympia Maru was a Japanese army cargo ship that is 137 meters long or 450 feet long. A US aircraft sank on the 24th of September 1944 in a surprise attack by the US. The wreck currently sits at about 18 to 24 meters making it a perfect dive for beginners or people who want an easy dive with no currents. There's tons of wildlife down here including the poisonous and deadly lionfish which is pretty interesting to see. It's also interesting to see these large indents in the ship that we're currently swimming over where the bombs sit, as well as these large cranes protruding out of the ship. the very first dive it was insane I had my mask on a little too tight you can probably see there's some some bruising here but that was the best dive I've ever done I've done about 11 or 12 dives now but it is number one the visibility down there was insane we got down to the bottom of the shipwreck Mike was following with like the most smooth like action cam oh I can't wait to see the footage thank you Mike it was it was insane we're on to our second one right now the hard the bad part is that we can't look at the footage so we go home yeah so I, I mean I hope it's good we'll, we'll find out it's just like you like looking at the ground the whole time it's just me selfing myself the whole time yeah exactly all right on to shipwreck number two We're at the second one now and it's supposed to be the best dive because it's not as deep so we can stay down longer. The last one we were only able to stay about 30 minutes. This one we're hoping for more closer to like 40 or 45 because it is shallower and we can stay down. So I think this one's gonna be my best. All the dive captains say that this one, the dive captains, the dive masters say that this one is their favorite so we're gonna see. shipwreck is called the Morazan, which was also sunk the same day. So what happened was the US launched a surprise attack on the Japanese, releasing a squadron of 24 Helldive bombers and 96 Hellcat fighters, also carrying some bombs, from Manila all the way to Caron Bay. They had just 15 minutes to sink as many ships as possible before the fuel would get too low for them to complete the mission. The attack was super successful and devastating to the Japanese supply ships. The last ship of the day was the Iroko Maru, which was also sunk the same day, and this one had some pretty cool interior. 
As we're diving through here, you can see we go inside the hole here and we're just swimming through this long, narrow passageway. Some of the really cool ambient light coming through as well. now at the hotel after a very long but like a very successful day. I have to say this was probably the best day of diving I've ever had. I'm now up to 14 dives. We did three today, three uh, incredible shipwrecks and uh, it was it was honestly one of the best days ever because I saw these shipwrecks, you saw beautiful coral, we got beautiful pictures and it was just it was such a good dive. I don't know. I, I love diving and I've only ever done it this one time and in Thailand a couple uh, years ago. So I'm super pumped that we did this. Mike, how did you feel? Good, man. My favorite shipwrecks are these ones because a lot of shipwrecks around the world, they just sink a boat because like, hey, the boat's old, let's sink it. These boats were bombed. People didn't make it to shore and so they are the final resting place for a lot of people. It's like the true actual shipwreck. Yeah. If you're in the Philippines and you do diving, I highly recommend coming to Coron because it is some of my favorite diving and yours as well. Yeah. It's like you don't see wrecks that big, so shallow very many places in the world. Yeah. This is a special occurrence and so you can see beautiful huge wrecks and you can dive. If even if you're open water, you can dive them. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna head to sleep. It's been an exhausting day. We've got an island tour tomorrow. We're gonna be going all over Corona Island, the, the most popular twin lagoons, Kayanga, and all of that. So we gotta get up very early. If you've not subscribed to Mike, check him out. Fearless and Far, Mike Corey. He's got amazing videos. He's making some videos here in the Philippines as well. So sub sub so subscribe to him. <laughs> subscribe to me if you have not already. Check out my last Philippines videos here in uh, the Philippines where I've been going all over. So if you have not seen those, check those out here as well. And if you want to learn how to travel cheap, stay in shape, and grow your brand, check out our Patreon community, which is linked down below. But until next time, guys, explore the world.